is Lewis, who's going to be our driver for the next 10 days. Our vehicle, a 4x4. Hola, and welcome to San Juan. We're starting our trip today on the road, and I'd like you to meet Maru. Hello. She's going to be our guide. Yesterday you said something about the road that we're going to take that runs the length of Argentina. It's a national road or something? Yes, it's the national road number 40. It's the longest road in Argentina. It's about 5,000 kilometers from the very south in the east. Uh -huh. Start in the east, in the Atlantic. And the name is uh, Punta Cabo Virgenes, sorry, up to the north, through, through the west part of Argentina, beside the Andes, and uh, up to north in the border with Bolivia. Thank La Quianta is the name. I've never seen sand dunes before in a mountain, always just in the desert. It's a plant for the lucky. <laughs> it's a plant for lucky. Yes. It, is it a flower? It's the fruit. It's a fruit. The, fruit. the flower is uh, yellow too. Hard. Interesting. So well, why is it good luck? It looks like parrot's feet. Because I think it's because it's very strange. And that is all salt. After the rains, the water evaporates and nothing is left but salt. Seat of the giant. Sirion del gigante. Uh, there is the sign right there that even tells you. Even I can go gigante. Gigante? Is that how you say it? Gigante? Oh, good. I said it right. That is really great. He is the famous gaucho singer. Buena Ventura Luna. Everywhere that we're going to be now is big gaucho area. Somehow I always thought of gauchos as being further south in Argentina, but not so. Maru, the story was this was his home? This was the family, the parents' house. The gauchos would line up for days to bring all their wheat here to be ground into flour. And he would entertain them by singing songs about their life and eventually became a very famous star in Argentina. The wood supports are made from carob, which is a very, very hard wood. And right next to the house is a carob tree. When did he die? It was in the middle of the uh, 20th century, more or less. Gosh, look at the inside of the mill. Then goes into the, in the end. This route that we're driving today called again is something the route of the adobes or? Uh, yes, because uh, many of the chapel has been built in adobe, in the mud brick. The, the styles made uh, mestizo or mixed art is the Baroque from Europe made here by the Indians. You see it around the door. Huh? It's mm -hmm. all decorated. There's no place mm -hmm. without decoration. The mill stones used for grinding. An Indian mortar. The bell is original and tied with cow leather. The local little shop. A typical dessert in Argentina is the queen's jelly with cheese or a sweet potato jelly with cheese. Good bread. That's a home bread. That's the, what we the, had for breakfast that she made. Mommy, she made. Does she have one of those clay ovens to put it in? How does she make her bread? Yes. It's lunchtime in the little village of Santa Maria. Here is a bottle of a typical Malbec from the Catamarca. Catamarca? Yes, I think so. Region. Look at the size of this pizza. You have to remember in Argentina, nothing is small. So share. You can always order more.